This season, NFL officials will continue to emphasize the use of helmet rule by largely focusing on bull rushes and mobile blocks. Player safety has become a top priority across all levels of football, and many of these rules that are designed to reduce helmet contact eventually trickle down to the lower levels of the game. It's important that coaches and players are aware of these changes so they can develop new techniques to stay ahead of the curve. The current use of helmet rule states, it is a foul if a player lowers his head to initiate and make contact with his helmet against an opponent. When we watch game film of these players initiating a bull rush or a mobile block with their helmet, it's easy to see the concerns regarding player safety as these players are delivering and absorbing forceful impact with their helmet. This bull rush method not only puts the player at a higher risk for injury, but it's extremely inefficient from a performance standpoint. Attacking your opponent on a horizontal plane wastes tremendous amounts of energy and is why coaches at the highest levels of the game have implemented force deflection strategies from tip of the spear. Instead of running full speed directly at your opponent, we teach players to harness hip-driven power to create a more effective and efficient bull rush. Using the mechanics of the hips not only elevates and softens your opponent, but the head is actually drawn away from contact when the hips uncoil properly. This means we can create more power for contact while at the same time eliminating unnecessary helmet contact, and the same is true for mobile blocks. A mobile block is defined as a block that occurs five yards or more from the offensive player's original alignment. Common mobile blocks include lead blocks on plays like ISO, offensive linemen pulling on plays like power, or blocks out in space or in the alley. The forces involved in these blocks require contact to be made with the shoulder, but still too many players rely on their helmet to engage in contact. Tip of the Spear provides resources for coaches and players to help develop shoulder contact. Our unique approach to developing contact skills involves starting players in the fit position or at the point where contact is first made. Developing the mechanics of hip-driven power from this fit position has proven to expedite skill development at all levels of the game. Most players have limited exposure to contact in a live or thud period in practice, so by starting players in this non-threatening position and slowly increasing the speed and intensity greatly improves the consistency and confidence for contact. Attempts at making football safer should not mean we have to accept a softer version of the game. Contact is the most important skill in football, but it's the most underdeveloped and is why Tip of the Spear has become the fastest growing skill development program across the country. To learn more about removing the helmet as a tool for contact while at the same time improving player performance, visit us at tosfb.com. Together, we can achieve safety through superior technique.